Yo, what's up guys? Just showing you real quick how to get scan lines in on your Flycast emulator. So I'm just going to launch Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Uh, show you guys some settings real quick that I've got in Flycast. Oh, I'll show you where to get the reshade download. The shader pack download should be done in less than 5 minutes. Trying to keep this under 5 minutes here. So let's check out my video settings real quick in uh, Flycast. So yeah, I'm using OpenGL, that seems to run the smoothest. I'm using three times native res, so 1920 by 1440. So just remember those two settings. Yeah, check this out. Honestly, this shit looks like an HD CRT. Like, it's so rad. And, you know, we're all used to seeing this, but, oh my god, these scan lines, man. For my homies that love the retro games their scan lines, this one is for you. So uh, let's move on. Home key on your keyboard brings up the reshade menu. This is what I'm using here. Scan lines dash abs dot fx. I'll show you how to load all these uh, shaders in. But yeah, I'm using 720p for scan lines. So got 1440p for my 3x native resolution. And then 720, half of that. That's how the scan lines look good. It's got, it's got to be half. And uh, yeah, here's my other settings here. If you guys want to write those down or whatever. But I'll show you real quick where to go and how to get this installed real fast. Super easy. So here's the two sites. I got these linked in the description. Just click uh, download, get your reshade downloading. Okay, there's one. And then GitHub. We go here to this page, click on code, download zip. You're going to need like WinRAR, WinZip, 7-Zip, whatever. I'm sure you guys got that already. Um... Yeah, so let's go to my desktop here. I've already got them, so just double click your reshade. Click here to select a game and manage its reshade install. Click that. Go find your Flycast DXE within your Fightcade folder. So yeah, Fightcade 2 emulator, Flycast. Click this open. Uh, make sure you click OpenGL at that point. Because yeah, OpenGL is the best for this stuff. Now it'll say install here, so just install it. Let it do its thing. I've already got mine installed, so I'm not going to bother with this part. Um, let's switch back over to Windows Explorer. Oops. So yeah, go back to your Fight K2 folder, emulator, Flycast. You'll see more like reshade stuff installed, right? Now this folder here is what you want. Reshade dash shaders. Go here, just leave this open. We're going to grab the uh, shaders folder and the textures folder out of that zip folder and put that in. So yeah, just like select both your shaders and textures and literally just drag and drop those. Or just right click on it. Copy files to clipboard. And then just paste them in. Replace. And now your uh, shaders and textures are loaded in, right? So you're ready to go. You can literally just, uh, you might need to relaunch it. Mine are already in here. But yeah, you should have all of these. Scan lines, ABS. Mine's at the top because I've clicked active to top, but just scroll down, self-alphabetize. It'll be right around here somewhere above this guy. So click that, then you'll have these options to play with. And uh, that's it, man. Just the home button on your keyboard toggles your menu on and off. That's it, guys. You can set that up for all kinds of programs. Um, I just did Dolphin, so I got GameCube running. I'll show a little bit of uh, um, F-Zero GX. I love that game on GameCube, man. But it looks so good with scan lines. Like, everything looks like an HD CRT now, back from the day. Well, there really was no HD CRTs back then. They were all, like, 480p. So if you want to see that, you can literally just set your flycast to like 640 by 480. Let's just do that real quick for fun here. It'll do it on the fly. So yeah, let's go 640 by 480. Native res. We're going to see a bit of a dip in resolution here. And then uh, if we go drop that to 240, this is kind of what the old school monitors in the arcades used to look like. So not quite as nice, but that's essentially what the arcade version looked like. But uh, yeah, fuck that. We're going to go switch this back to uh, 3x and get 720. 
three. Yeah, so 1920 by 1440. We're gonna use 720, half of the 1440 is what we want for scan lines. Let's just get out of there. So yeah, home button on your keyboard. You just double click that, type in 720, enter, and you're done. That's it. That concludes the tutorial part of this video. So now, anytime you're in Fight K2 and you launch a game that starts with Flycast, being like Sega Naomi, Dreamcast, or Thomas Wave, it's all just gonna fire up. Your scan lines will be there. You don't have to play around with the reshade settings every time you launch a game or nothing. You are literally good to go. All right, I'm losing my voice. I'm starting to feel like crap, so I'm gonna end it here. Got a few clips of some Flycast games going. We got some CBS 2, some Metal Slug 6, some uh, Power Stone 2, and some Blaze Blue, just to show you guys some more scan lines, some more Flycast games. Thanks for hanging out to anyone who's stuck around this long, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one, guys. Peace. Heading to see you now.